Do you want to know how to choose the best English teacher for yourself? In this video, I will show you how. So here are the important factors you must consider when choosing an English teacher. Number one, mother tongue. Your teacher, man or woman, must be mother tongue. Why? Why? Why must it be the mother tongue? It cannot be Russian or Italian or French. I can speak English very well. I am an English teacher. Most important reason why you must have a mother tongue teacher is the cultural aspect. Because when you learn a language, you must learn its culture too. Language and culture are inseparable. For example, I cannot learn Italian if I don't understand the culture behind the language. The pizza, the summer, the beach, the Roman traffic, the people in Milan, the, the steak in Florence. I must understand the cultural aspect. And an English or American teacher or Australian or other countries they can teach you the cultural aspects too. This is also important because when you grow up in an English speaking country, you learn English in a different way. When you learn English from a book, like many non-mother tongue teachers, you learn English in a very academic way, in a stilted way. Number two, you need a person to talk to who is from that country, not only a teacher, but also a companion. So you can have a conversation with that person for an hour, for two hours, and that person is from that country. If you're having a conversation with a person who comes from your country, but he's teaching you English, it's not the same thing. It's not as rich. It's not as colorful as an experience. Mother tongue teachers have different ways of speaking. We speak in expressions, Sometimes we will say something like, I'm under the weather, you left me high and dry. We use these expressions quite commonly, whereas somebody who's learned English from a book will find it hard to use them. The second most important factor is qualification. When you have a mother tongue teacher, you need to go for qualified teachers because teaching is a profession like surgery, like engineering, like plumbing. If you don't know what you're doing, you're going to waste time. So for instance, if you have a teacher who's qualified, it costs 50 euros an hour and a teacher who's unqualified costs you 10 euros an hour. You're going to waste your time with this teacher. You're not going to get the result that you want. You want a qualified teacher who knows what he's doing or she's doing and he can help you or she can help you to get to where you want to get to. A good teacher can understand your mistakes, your problems, your fears, your difficulties. He can understand your psychological fears, your psychological blocks very quickly while an untrained, unprofessional teacher can't. You must trust the professionals in this. You may save a bit of money by going to somebody who's not qualified, but you're going to waste your time and your money in the long run. The third most important thing is the experience. So if you have a mother tongue teacher who's qualified, but new, it's not as good as a mother tongue teacher qualified with years of experience, of course. But if you can find somebody with all these characteristics, you're up and running. An experienced teacher will know what to do if you have a certain problem. We'll know how to prepare you for a certain exam. We'll know how to work with your difficulties, where an inexperienced teacher will not know these 
and will be learning on the job. So if you have found two or three different teachers, uh, they are all mother tongue, qualified and experienced, then you can discuss the cost factor, okay? Some teachers may cost more, some teachers may cost less, but the average cost of a good teacher will always be high. It won't be low because good teachers cost money, just like good lawyers, just like good engineers, ju just like good surgeons. You can't save money and get top qualification, top teaching. That's just not gonna happen. When teachers get to that high level, they want to be paid for their time. I hope this video helped you. Remember to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. And if you have any questions about anything, about English, about the Queen of England, how many wives Shakespeare had, whatever, let me know. Take care. Peace.